Welcome back to another day of Rocky Railway. Today's day four and we are on track for another incredible day. Before I get started, I want to say, Centerport, I love you. I miss you, mwah, 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 and I can't wait to see you next summer. Okay, but this week we've been imagining what it's like to be on a steam engine, traveling through the massive Rocky Mountains. Well, it takes a lot of power to pull heavy train cars through those steep and winding mountains. Thinking about power, I can tell you we are surrounded by power. Right here, our family lives on a creek in Virginia. And there's a family of eagles that lives about a half a mile up the road. Every morning, they come out here and they hunt right along the river. Did you know that an eagle can spot a rabbit Two miles away, eagles have some powerful eyes. And this morning, when I was supposed to film, a tropical storm, Isaias, came through. It was right outside, raining and pouring and flooding all around us. It was a powerful storm. I saw on TV tonight that a lot of trees were down and power was out for over a million people. We may be surrounded by things that are powerful, but I can tell you this, nothing compares to the power of Jesus. Jesus is so powerful that he conquered death. That is an incredible power, and we're gonna talk more about it in Bible Adventures a little bit later. We have a special Bible memory buddy that will help us remember Jesus' power to let, help us, to let us live forever, and his name is Finn. Finn is a rainbow trout, and home is an important place to him. Rainbow trout and other big fish, like him, return to the place they were born at the end of their lives. Jesus made a way for us to share our forever home in heaven with him. When we see Finn, we can be reminded that Jesus' power lets us live forever. So, let's hop on board to our next stop, where we're going to watch a video and learn all about Finn. Okay? All aboard! <laughs> 